Hello all my adventurers out there. How you doing? It's Wolf your one and only and welcome back to some more Dragon Blades. So today we're going to be looking at Llewellyn for the next Hero Spotlight. So Llewellyn is definitely one of the more unique archers in the game in her own right. She has a she has a pretty interesting kit and amazing design, that's for sure. She mostly specializes in autumn boss and she's an archer duel and let me explain what that means that means she is both physical and magic she also goes in our dps slot and here are our main stats not only that down here depending on whatever ammo she has is what she's going to use whenever she attacks one enemy or the entire groups. So, let me just go ahead and go into the first skill and you guys will understand what all of that means. Okay, the first skill loads up magic bullets with fixed damage and all your normal attacks will do magic damage. But this only hits one enemy. And she'll mostly use this one if there's only one enemy. Interestingly enough, um, her second skill, though, hits up to all enemies. And this loads physical bullets. And this does dot damage over time as well. It only goes up to three stacks, and you're doing physical damage. So, just to let you guys know that she does not load into different skills. So. So basically, let's say if you have magic bullets going, you're going to have to wait until those magic bullets run out. If you have physical bullets going, you're going to have to wait until those physical bullets run out. She literally just chooses in between either of these. So if you're fighting more of a boss, I would bring her for a magic team because she's going to mostly use this. Unless there's multi multiple enemies, then physical is going to be the best one to bring for her. She'll still swap in between the two. She's just basically a heavy, like, hybrid. Her third skill actually is an AoE stun and increases the damage that enemies take. This has a three second, like, timer on it, just because it is a bomb with uh, views on it. So it takes three seconds for us to pop off. So if you're wondering why you die before the other enemies, that's why. <laughs> Alright, her first passive is each reload increases the bullets she consumes and this goes out to a maximum of 16 per shot. So every shot is actually consuming 16 bullets. She holds up th to 300, that's her max, and it won't increase from there. Um, this is actually not a bad skill or anything, this is actually to help her cycle through a lot of her um, skills. Llewellyn is one of those... Well, I'll keep that for the end. Um, second passive. Increases her normal attack damage. Third passive. Increases her range and normal attacks. Alright, your max passive. Increases your normal attack and attack speed every time you reload. Your ultimate. Increases additional boss damage. Increases bullets consumed by 32 per... Normal had attack. And additional damage when fighting a boss type enemy with your one or two skill. Arch passive. More additional boss damage when using your first and second skill on bosses. Even more additional boss damage on your one and two when fighting. Increases your normal attacks and your decks and your normal attacks increases your normal attack and decks and increases your normal attacks and deck times three when fighting autumn increases additional boss damage for all allies when using your third skill your infinity passive oh boy this infinity passive Increases your attack speed, normal attack, additional boss damage. Increases your attack speed, 
normal attack and additional boss damage times five when fighting autumn increases your normal attack when fighting autumn increases your dex physical attack and additional boss damage when using your skill three for all allies when fighting hydra or autumn increases your dex and physical damage when for all allies when fighting autumn so yeah, she's heavily aimed towards bosses. And as I was gonna say, to say about the end, to the end, also here are the passives that she's gonna be getting every time she's um, infinity. But the thing I was gonna save off to the end to talk about there, Llewellyn is a long-term fighter. So if you have a really long run of a boss, like pretty much Hydra, 10 minutes, She's just constantly scaling. Just getting quicker and quicker. Just because every last reload is just going to make her way faster. As you guys can see, there are max of how far she can go. Up to four times, she's just... that's Four times is just pretty much like 80% of attack speed. Not to mention others just increasing your normal attack. Just, you guys are thinking, like, she's really underwhelming just because, you know, her normal passives are just kind of like, meh. But she's one of those units that scale really hard the longer the fight is. Like, if it's, like, a quick fight, I wouldn't really really recommend bringing her because there's better choices. But long term, she is just amazing. So let's get into her skills. Here are the skills for Zoltid Llewellyn. Okay, so as you guys saw, during the auto skills, she was getting flinched a lot. This is why having a really good tank that taunts and taking off the aggro from her is really good. Like, um, Kronos. Kronos pretty much absorbs all the damage to himself, so nobody else is getting flinched, even from AoEs. That is actually a really good tank to bring with her. Just because she constantly won't be flinched and that won't interrupt her attack. I mean, a lot of characters in the game will get flinched. It just won't happen like extremely often. Just characters that really thrive off normal attacks, just ha make sure to have like a really good tank that can counter that. So, yeah, as I said, Llewellyn is actually pretty good. She just is, it, it takes her time to skill. That, that's all I'm saying. It, it just takes her a lot of time to scale when it comes to, like, fighting bosses. I mean, when it comes to, like, clearing rooms, she's actually pretty good, too. Especially if you have her, like, pretty high um, infinity. Like, don't get me wrong. She, she's good for short time fights, too. It's just that she itself is long. <laughs> But with that said, Llewellyn is definitely my favorite design. I mean, I just, I just love her. I, I kind of like the older version of her too, as well. I wonder if they still have it in here. Yeah, the older design was pretty good for back then, but now ever since she got that, you know, transcendence, it was just dang man. <laughs> 
Uh, I can't wait to see her get her um, final impact. I'm definitely building it. Llewellyn is still always going to be one of my favorite characters. That's for sure. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next character spotlight. Whenever that'll be, whenever I get the chance to get to it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.